Hey guys, it is Garrett Stewart with Command Consult, and today I wanted to show you uh, a quick and easy way to embed certain things onto your KW Agent website or maybe even a landing page. Uh, so, for example, here I did a embedded a Calendly link uh, into my website so that people could book me for a virtual buyer strategy session. Uh, so you could do this for Calendly. Uh, I've seen people do it, uh, done it for home valuation sites like through Cloud CMA uh, and sites like that. So how, how does that work? Well, we're going to go over here and uh, into our command and we're going to go down to the consumer applet here on the left. We'll click on that and that'll load in. We're going to go ahead and create a new site. Now this can work on a standalone page or agent site, either or. Uh, Today I'm going to demo as a, on my agent site. So we'll hit create page. And first thing we're going to do is we're going to add a couple of content blocks. So we'll need uh, the text up here. And in order, even if we're embedding something like a Calendly link or a Cloud CMA home valuation link, uh, if we're embedding that on there, every landing page, every agent site page has to have a widget on it uh, to allow it to save. So you're going to have to decide which one you want to do. Normally, in most cases, I, I like to do the agent profile one, uh, especially if it's on the agent site, because on every agent site, it's going to have uh, information down here at the bottom anyway uh, to contact. So it already has a contact form on here. So I don't want to um, put in two contact forms. It'd be a little repetitive. So I like the profile, so it has a little bit more info on me, and then towards the bottom, we'll have a contact me portion. So we're gonna go back into agent site pages. As you can see, we have a text box here and we have our agent profile here. Uh, so first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna need some code to put in here. Uh, don't freak out. If you don't know coding, it's not, not a big deal. I already have uh, the code prepared for you. If you go to my website, that's commandconsult.com, as you see right here, and you go in and go down to resources under the more tab. You click on resources and from resources, you can see code for sites and landing pages. Make it super simple for you. You're gonna click on that. That's gonna open up a Google doc with some coding on it. Uh, pretty simple. Uh, this is called an iframe code if you're familiar with it. Basically, it's just loading a website within a website uh, is the way you can think about it. So we're gonna copy that. So we'll, uh, we'll copy. And then we're going to go back into this text box here and we're going to paste it right in there. Now, you can see there's a spot in here, your website here, what we're going to be embedding here. So, for example, on Calendly, we have a Calendly link in there, so uh, uh, such as this, or maybe uh, on this case, here's a Calendly site that uh, I did already that this is the one I embedded already on my website you can see here maybe I want to embed that one so we're going to click right here and we're going to we're going to need that uh, website URL so we can copy that and we're going to go back into where it says your website here we're going to highlight that your website here and we're going to paste the that new site right in there now here's the trick of what you have to do once it's in there you're going to triple click I just do it on the right side of the page, just right here, and you're going to just triple click on the mouse. So one, two, three, and there it goes. It loads in, and everything's going to populate right in there. Uh, last thing you need to do, uh, make sure everything looks good. You're going to need to configure the widgets. Uh, make sure that way I'm not showing as the lead listing agent at Royal Realtors. That's just a default. So you configure the widget. Uh, it'll say zero of one because this widget's not a uh, configurable uh, so we'll just hit here and that's gonna allow me to make sure that all of my information is saved on here so I could just put you know um, realtor at Keller Williams uh, once I do that I can go ahead and hit save and apply and scroll down here just make sure boom we're all set there and we can you know edit this we'll just say buyer session Calendly. And we're going to go ahead and hit save changes. And we'll hit yes. And there it is right there. We just need to make it live on our website by going into site and app settings and going into site pages. And we can add in that new page right here. 
we just click on that, hit continue, and we'd enter in the page title, the URL slug, uh, right in there, and an SEO description if you want. Uh, then it'll go live on your website. Uh, as you can see, this is what it will look like when it's live, and uh, you can do it right from there. And again, you can do this for different sites. For example, if you are playing, paying for Cloud CMA, here's a, a website, uh, you get a what's my home worth through Cloud CMA. So I can utilize this and embed this exact same thing into my website as well. So you have options out there if you are using other software, maybe uh, you're using uh, Keeping Current Matters and you wanted to embed your Keeping Current Matters blog in there, or you wanted to use your Homekeeper blog in there, uh, there's a, some coding in Homekeeper to embed that blog, but for in terms of Keeping Current Matters, uh, if you're paying for that and want that blog embedded, you can do that. So uh, a few options for you. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you have any other questions or want to learn more about Command and my resources of commandconsult.com and what Command Consultations can do for you, you can go to my website, commandconsult.com. I also have a video tab up here for my other training videos if you want to watch. Thanks so much for watching and have a great day.